Have you ever dreamed of going to space? Would you take your pet with you? Students at East Liverpool High School won a $1,500 grant from NASA to develop a spacesuit for cats. They're one of 60 winners across the U.S. Students in media production at the school interviewed students who won and sent us their video. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin has a first look at the project and explains how the students came up with this idea. What started out as a joke is now a student project funded by a NASA grant. Students at East Liverpool High are working on technology that might possibly allow astronauts to take pets into space, turning an ordinary house cat into a castronaut. We chose cats in space for this project because it's found through the COVID crisis that actually having contact with a small animal like a cat is very good for mental health. And as we move into pioneering towards moon and Martian colonies, it'll be important to consider the mental health of our astronauts. Students were asked to come up with a big project for their senior year. They submitted a four-page proposal. It's all part of the NASA Tech Rise Student Challenge. NASA can send this project on a high-altitude balloon flight for testing. But don't worry, no cats will be hurt for the experiment. We will be putting tests in different meters into there not an actual cat to make sure the cat would survive an actual space launch. The cat is very much fake. We're going to start with like doing all the research to see what microcontrollers we need to use, how we put it into the suit, what, um, how big we need to make it. Riley Cox proposed the cats in space idea. At first she says her classmates weren't over the moon about it. Everyone hated my idea and they <laughs> said that it would never win and it was not a good idea. And then they were like, actually, it is very silly, so it might win. So I think that silly ideas are the best ideas. East Liverpool wasn't the only local school to get a NASA grant. Canfield High School also got one. In addition to the financial help, students will meet with an engineer once a week over Zoom, and they'll help guide their projects. Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.